After our cool series, we decided to take a look at how and when each and every Nigerian president died and where possible their last words. As you all know, death is inevitable. So if you are watching this video, congratulations for being alive and probably well. However, while you and I are here today, many of our leaders have passed to the great beyond. Some died of natural causes while others were assassinated. Our leaders are good at hiding their cause of illness, but good at spending our resources in treating themselves when they get ill. In the light of this, the cause of death for some of our presidents is in the realm of speculation. Nigeria has had about 13 presidents since independence in 1960, plus one ceremonial president, making a total of 14 presidents. Two of them held power as both military head of state and democratically elected civilian presidents. Three of them were assassinated while in office, four died of natural causes, while one died under controversial circumstances. Six are still alive at the time of recording this video. Without much ado, let's find out how and when each and every Nigerian president died and their last words. Our list will be based on when they held office, with the exception of one that we reserve for last. Please watch till the end to find out who this one is. Hello, 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 His Plus. Welcome to His Pool Media. Gabriel here. We begin with Al Haji Abubakar Tafar Balewa. Balewa was overthrown and murdered in a military coup on January 15, 1966. Many other leaders, including his old companion, Sir Amadou Bello, were also murdered in the coup. Even though the circumstances of his death still remain unresolved, the general consensus is that he was shot dead by a group of mutineers led by Major Emmanuel Ifiajuna during the January 15, 1966 coup. His body was discovered at a roadside near Lagos six days after he was ousted from office. Eyewitness reporter Chief Shegun Aremu Osoba, who later became the governor of Ogun State, states, Balewa's body was still fresh six days after the coup and with no marks of bullet on his body. The body was in a sitting posture with the back rested on a tree. The body was roped in a big white aguada with a cap lying at its feet. Another unpopular opinion is that Balewa died of asthmatic attack. He was buried in Baoji. The news of his assassination spurred violent riot throughout northern Nigeria and ultimately led to the bloody counter coup of July 1966. Today, his portrait adorned the five naira notes. He was succeeded by Major General Johnson Thomas Aguironsi on 16th January 1966. His last words are not known since his killers never came out to admit their discussion. Next on our list is Major General Johnson Thomas Aguironsi. Aguironsi was born on the 3rd of March 1924 and was killed on the 29th of July 1966. He was the first military head of state of Nigeria. He assumed power amidst the ensuing chaos that followed the decapitation of the country's leadership on January 15, 1966. The January coup was led by Major Chukuma Kaduna Nziogu. In the early hours of July 29, 1966, officers of Northern Extraction surrounded the government house Ibadan, where Major General Agui Ronsi, who had visited his friend Lieutenant Colonel Francis Adekunle Fajui as part of a nationwide peace tour, was staying. The northern officers led by Major T.Y. Danjuma and Lieutenant Garba Dada Paiku, who was the adjutant of the 4th Battalion, arrested both Ironsi and Fajui and squeezed them into the front seat of one vehicle and taken away. Their intention was to question him about his alleged complicity in the January 15, 1966 coup that led to the killing of several prominent leaders, mostly from northern Nigeria. They drove to mile 8 on Iwo Road, where the group dismounted and went into the bush, crossing a small stream. Ironsi and Fadri were then subjected to beating and interrogations. It has been said that Ironsi was shot by an angry northern officer because he refused to respond to questions and confess his role in the January coup. Sources say the officer who shot Ironsi was Sergeant Tijani. Fadri was not spared either, he was also shot. 
His last words are difficult to arrive at, but his altercation with T.Y. Danjuma before he was arrested and later killed was when he said, Who told you that? You know, it is not true. He said this when Danjuma accused him of being part of the January coup. Before this time, it is said that Ironsi told his son who was with him not to take revenge. He said, don't take revenge. Aguironsi was succeeded by Lieutenant General Yakubu Gowon on the 1st of August 1966. Gowon is still alive. Then came General Moritala Ramat Mohammed, who was born on November 8, 1938 in Kano. He became Nigeria's third military head of state on July 29, 1975, after General Yakubu Gowon was ousted while attending OAU summit in Kampala. On 13th February 1976, while General Moritala Mohammed was heading for work along his usual route on George Street, a group of soldiers, who were members of an abortive coup led by Lieutenant Colonel Bukasuka Dimkar, emerged from an adjacent petrol station and bushed a vehicle and assassinated Mohammed. This happened shortly after 8 a.m. in the morning and was his 200th day in office. His ADC, Lieutenant Akintunde Akinshenwa, and driver were also killed in the process. The circumstances of his death made it difficult to ascertain what his last words were. He was succeeded by then Chief of Staff, Supreme Headquarters, Lieutenant General Lushigun Obasanjo. Obasanjo is still alive and strong. General Lushigun Obasanjo handed over power to a civilian president, Alhaji Shehu Usman Shagari, on the 1st of October 1979, as planned by his predecessor, General Moritala Mohammed. Shehu Usman Shagari was born on the 25th of February 1925 in Shagari town of Sokoto State to a Sunni Muslim Fulani family. He was the first democratically elected president of Nigeria and his administration ushered in Nigeria's Second Republic. However, shortly after taking the oath of office for his second term, Shagari was overthrown by General Muhammad Buhari on December 31, 1983, in a bloodless military coup. General Muhammad Buhari is the current civilian president of Nigeria. He is strong and hearty. Shehu Usman Shagari officially entered into politics in 1951 when he became the secretary of the Northern People's Congress in Sokoto, Nigeria, a position he held until 1956. However, his early political activities may be traced back to 1945 when he founded and became secretary of a youth group called Youth Social Circle in Sokoto State. In 1954, Shehu Shagari was elected into his first public office as a member of the Federal House of Representatives representing Sokoto West. On the 28th of December 2018, at about 6.30 p.m., Shehu Shagari died from a brief illness at the National Hospital Abuja, where he was undergoing treatment before his death. He was 93 years old. His death was confirmed by his grandson, Belo Bala Shagari, and Governor Tampwal of Sokoto State in a tweet at the time of his death. According to Belo Shagari, his eldest son, Shagari left no last words since his protracted illness made him unable to speak long before his death. General Muhammad Buhari, who took over power in a coup d'etat, was equally overthrown by General Ibrahim Bada Musi on August 27, 1985. Both of them are still alive. After so much pressure following the annulment of the June 12 presidential election, Babangida designed an exit strategy for himself by handing over power to an interim national government led by Chief Ernest Shunekon on 27th of August 1993. The government, which was largely powerless, was dissolved when General Sani Abacha seized power on 17th November 1993. According to the family, Shunekon died of acute pneumonia. He died peacefully on 11th January 2022 at the age of 85 at Evercare Hospital in Lagos. There are no recorded last words from the former leader. Sani Abacha was born on the 20th of September 1943 in Kano State, Nigeria. He ruled as the military head of state of Nigeria from 1993 until his death in 1998. Abacha seized power from the interim national government headed by Chief Ernest Shunekon on 17th November 1993 in the last successful coup d'etat in the military history of Nigeria. 
Habacha became the first Nigerian army officer to rise through the ranks to a full general without skipping a single rank. He attended the Nigerian military training college in Kaduna and was commissioned in 1963 after he had attended the Mons Officer Cadet School in Aldershot, England. On the 8th of June 1998, General Sani Abacha died in the Aso Rock Presidential Villa in Abuja. He was buried on the same day according to Muslim tradition and without an autopsy, foiling speculation that he may have been assassinated. The government identified the cause of death as a sudden heart attack. Most foreign diplomats, including United States intelligence analysts, believe Abacha may have been poisoned. Even his chief security officer, Hamza R. Mustafa, also believed he was poisoned by Israeli operatives in the company of Yasser Arafat. Before his death, Abacha was planning to transfer power to civilian government in October 1998. His last words are not in public domain. After Abacha's death, General Abdusalami Abubakar succeeded him as the head of state. Abubakar's short tenure ushered in the Fourth Republic in Nigeria. Both Abdusalami Abubakar and Olushiguno Basinjo, who succeeded him this time as a democratically elected president in 1999, are still alive and healthy. Next on our list is Omaru Musa Yaradua, who succeeded Olushiguno Basinjo in 2007 after the latter had completed his second term in office. Omaru Musa Yaradua was born on the 16th of August 1951. He was the president of Nigeria from 2007 to 2010. He previously served as the governor of Katsina State from 1999 to 2007 and was a member of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. After several medical trips abroad, including his last visit to Saudi Arabia, Yaradua returned to Abuja on the 24th of February 2010 under the cover of darkness. Before this time, a presidential spokesman has said that he was being treated for an acute pericarditis and inflammation of the lining around the heart. But when he returned to Nigeria in February, his state of health was unclear, but there was speculation that he was still on a life support machine. Various political and religious figures in Nigeria had visited him during his illness, believing he would make a recovery. But Yaradua died on the 5th of May at the Asura Presidential Villa. He died of natural causes. An Islamic burial took place on the 6th of May in his hometown in Kassina. Family sources said the late president had lost his ability to speak prior to his death, making it difficult to have his last words. He was succeeded by his vice president who was at the time the acting president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. Jonathan is still alive and healthy. And finally, let's go back to the beginning and find out how Namdi Azikiwe died. Namdi Benjamin Azikiwe, popularly known as Zik of Africa, was born on the 16th of November 1904 in Zungeru, present-day Niger State, to Igbo parents from Anambra State in eastern Nigeria. He served as the first president of Nigeria from 1963 to 1966. Zik was considered the driving force behind the nation's independence and came to be known as the father of Nigerian nationalism. Zik died on May 11 at the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital in Indugu, where he was being treated for an undisclosed ailment. It is speculated that his last words were a prayer he said, Oh God, I have made the greatest mistake of my life. I choose heroism instead of sainthood. Now that I am about to lie lonely in the grave, who will remember to pray for me anymore? Lord, please, if for all that I suffered for the sake of Nigeria, forgive my sins and receive me in your kingdom. He was 91 years old at the time of his death. His death was reported on May 13th by the news agency of Nigeria. Watch this video here for a full account of how General Agui Ronsi and Lieutenant Colonel Adekule Fadjui were killed in an northern counter coup of July 29, 1966. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video. Subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.